हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डिराक डेल्टा फंक्शन लेट्स वेगेन देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दैट ऑफ डिराक डेल्टा फंक्शन बट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी हैव टू डिस्कस टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन दैट आर बेस्ड अपन योर डिराक डेल्टा फंक्शन वन इज एज लिमिट ऑफ गर्सियन फंक्शन and uh, another one is uh, as a limit of a rectangular function let's uh, start first as limit of gaussian function what is that of gaussian function let uh, that gaussian function is represented by g of sigma is equal to 1 by sigma into square root of 2 pi into e to the power minus x minus x dash square divided by 2 sigma square So start the integration over minus infinity to infinity g of sigma dx is equal to one. That is the unit area under the curve. Then. The Dirac delta function, that is del x minus x dash, is equal to limit sigma tends to zero one divided by sigma into square root of two pi e to the power minus of x minus x dash square divided by 2 sigma square now the dirac delta function is represented in terms of gaussian function that's why how we can prove it look at this we have the gaussian function integrating over minus infinity to plus infinity we have 1 by sigma square root of 2 pi integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus x minus x dash square divided by 2 sigma square dx for solve that integration let put uh, e y is equal to x minus x dash divided by root 2 sigma then i can write 1 divided by sigma square root of 2 pi integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus y square sigma root 2 dy as y is equal to this much then dx is equal to sigma root 2 dy 
in place of dx i can write sigma root 2 dy to solve this sigma root 2 divided by sigma 2 pi square root integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus y square dy that particular integration the value of that of integral we know integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus y square dy is equal to square root of pi that's why sigma root 2 sigma 2 pi into square root of pi sigma sin cancel out root 2 root 2 cancel out root pi root pi cancel out then the value is 1 now we get the integration over minus infinity to plus infinity g of sigma dx is equal to 1 hence in that of limit concept sigma tends to 0 then g sigma of x has the properties of delta function that is why the delta function that is the Dirac delta function can be represented as delta of x minus x dash is equal to limit sigma tends to 0 1 divided by sigma square root of 2 pi e to the power minus x minus x dash square divided by 2 sigma square whereas uh, sigma is greater than 0 as we find out in that of definition of that of representation of direct delta function in terms of uh, Gaussian wave function in terms of Gaussian function now we can find out this if for a special type of case if x dash is equal to 0 in place of x dash we put 0 then we find out delta x as x dash is 0 that change to delta x limit sigma tends to 0 1 by sigma square root of root pi e to the power minus x square divided by 2 sigma square that change to this form that's why for that of Gaussian function we can graphically represent uh, that of Dirac delta function look at uh, how we graphically represent that Dirac delta function at uh, x y g of sigma in that of y axis that point is x dash that is sigma 1 that is sigma 2 that is sigma 3 whereas uh, sigma 1 is less than sigma 2 is less than sigma 3 and uh, the Gaussian function has the value the Gaussian function has the value 1 by sigma square root of 2 pi at x dash 
the Gaussian function has that of value 1 by sigma square root of 2 pi at x dash with width that width 2 sigma 2 sigma uh, this is the graphical representation of that of delta function as the limit of uh, Gaussian function again another type of representation that is uh, as the limit of rectangular function this is the delta function as a limit of Gaussian function delta function as a limit of Gaussian function and how graphically we represent the delta function as the limit of Gaussian function now another type of representation to that of Dirac delta function that is the second type as limit of rectangular function first of all we define what is that of rectangular function uh, the rectangular function r of sigma is equal to 1 by 2 sigma for Sig minus uh, sigma less than x minus x ts less than sigma whereas r of sigma is equal to 1 by 2 sigma where the values of x minus x ts in between minus sigma to that of uh, plus sigma and uh, it will be 0 for the modulus of x minus x ts is greater than sigma. So, if we consider the limit uh, sigma tends to 0, then the function r of sigma tends to infinity and has value 0 elsewhere. Now, the integration over minus infinity to plus infinity r of sigma dx is equal to integration over minus infinity to plus infinity 1 by 2 sigma dx is equal to integration 1 by 2 sigma as common as constant outside that of integration integration over minus infinity to plus infinity dx change that of limit 1 by 2 sigma x dash minus sigma to x dash plus sigma of dx as that is the value is independent of sigma we can write 1 by 2 sigma x x ts minus sigma to x ts plus sigma 1 by 2 sigma x ts plus sigma minus x plus sigma is equal to 1 as uh, that uh, value look at this 1 there will be no terms of that of uh, sigma that's why we can say that's why we can say r sigma is uh, independent of that of sigma there will be no such term of that of sigma from that of uh, a particular integration the value is 1 the area under the curve remains unit so the rectangular function r sigma has properties of the Dirac delta function as uh, we before discussed uh, what is the de definition of or the properties of that of Dirac delta function uh, del x is equal to 0 or if uh, x uh, not equal to 0 and uh, 
if x is equal to 0 then del x is equal to infinity and the integration over that of del x dx from minus infinity to plus infinity is equal to 1 that is the unity that is the particular properties as the definition of that of Dirac delta function as the rectangular function is satisfy uh, that of uh, uh, properties of that of Dirac delta function that's why we can write del of x minus x dash is the limit del tends to 0 r sigma sigma tends to 0 r sigma this one is the representation of Dirac delta function as the rectangular function how we can graphically represent the rectangular function say x y that is r sigma of x on that y axis sigma 1 that is sigma 2 that is sigma 3 that is x dash this is uh, the graphical representation of delta function as the limit of rectangular function that's why with the help of this video lecture, we have understand the concept of two types of representation of that of Dirac delta function. One is uh, as a limit of Gaussian function, how we can graphically represent that of uh, Gaussian function and also we represent that of Dirac delta function in as uh, a limit of rectangular function this is that of uh, representation of Dirac delta function as the limit of uh, rectangular function and this one is uh, the graphical representation of that of uh, Dirac uh, delta function in terms of that of rectangular function. So, with this valuable notes uh, let me wind up this session. Thank you.